I was getting that sign of Uber and a car followed me from the house and met us at the red light and someone got out and got the shooting inside the vehicle. Then we went to the ER and when I made it there, I wasn't breathing. Chicago is suffering from a relentless epidemic of gun violence and more than 80% of victims in 2023 were black. These aren't just statistics, they're people like Maurice. Research shows that people who regularly face stress from challenges like violence have a weakened microbiome, which is the community of beneficial bacteria that make up the majority of cells in our body. The microbiome is like a mirror that reflects our environment and our lifestyle. And when people are missing good bacteria, their overall health and recovery suffer. That's why we're going beyond treating just the physical gunshot wound and focusing on strengthening victims' microbiomes to help in their recovery. Why is it one 18-year-old comes in shot and gets 50 units of blood and is home in three days, and another gets shot, same circumstances, and they're in the intensive care unit for three months? Is it the patient's own microbiome as shaped by their life history? I was in the hospital for about four months. My stomach couldn't hold anything. To explore how the microbiome can help recovery, we'll start in the lab and look at two groups of mice, one with a healthy microbiome and the other with a weakened one. We already know that mice with a bad microbiome don't survive bleeding that mimics gunshot wounds. Next, we'll give them a dose of treatments to boost the function of the microbiome. We expect a healthier microbiome will improve their chances at recovery. Once we confirm it works in mice, we can offer this potential new treatment to patients. The best place to start a healing process is about what you're putting into your body. Inglewood, along with a lot of other communities, they are food deserts. These people are not surviving more because of what they're lacking in their communities. That's why we also plan to help strengthen the microbiome of Chicagoans living in violent neighborhoods, even if they aren't suffering from a gunshot wound. In the future, doctors might be able to give them a specific probiotic pill that would boost their microbiome before violence strikes. And if that day ever came, their bodies would have stronger, good bacteria to help them recover. Our work might be a ray of hope to a new era where we can help people living in unsafe areas become healthier and stronger overall.